Hey guys, what is going on? It is Epic Video Game Master, and it is time for some Okami. Yes, I know I did the prologue a long time ago, and I just really need to plan this out properly before I just jumped into it. So anyway, let's get into this. So however, this is not the end of the story. There is more to this tale than most people know. 100 years have passed since Nagi and Shirinui's heroic exploits. It happened so quickly that no one in the village even took notice. Is this legendary sword? Is this Sukuyame Yame? I I'm really bad with these Japanese names. <laughs> the sword that banished the dreaded orgy. No, it couldn't be. It's just a legend. Nothing but a fairy tale. He done slipped. <laughs> He who seeks power, he who has broken my bonds. Speak the words, I wish darkness onto the world. Utter that prayer unto me and unleash my power. Don't do it, man. Don't do it, man. He's gonna do it. I feel like he's gonna do it. Don't do it. No, he's gonna run. <laughs> Alright, so after that cutscene, we can see that Orochi, after 100 years of being sealed, is now awakened. A horrible tragedy suddenly swept over the land. However, there was one village that seemed to escape the terrible curse. The tiny settlement of Kamiki Village. He enjoyed the protection, I don't know why I stopped there, of a sacred tree. It is here that the real story begins. Wood Sprite Sakuya. How troublesome. This is just like the ancient prophecy of doom. What has transpired to bring about such calamity? Calamity. <laughs> we must act quickly. There was no time to lose. My power has diminished over the years I have spent protecting this area. I do not have much time left in this world. Amaterasu is now the time. Now is the time. We have never needed your power more. Shine your divine light upon this broken and polluted world. Let your heavenly rays become our hope as you guide us all. And the statue is now awakened. Meet Amaterasu. Now this is the main character. This is the character that you will be playing as through our wonderful adventure. Okami Amaterasu The only one capable of such a wondrous spectacle is none other than Then wait what then cure mother and the origin of all that is Amaterasu how delightful to see the savior whose brave sacrifices sealed away the evil demon so many years ago has not changed one bit. Seeing you emerge after so many years spent as a statue brings happiness to my heart. Sniff. 
And... <laughs> oh my god, that <laughs> Matsurasu fell asleep. None of that deep stuff. <laughs> Gaze above you and take into the condition of the sky. Take in the condition of the sky. Since your untimely departure from our midst, the world has suc succumbed to devious and vicious beasts. They have ravaged our fine and bountiful country of Nippon. But never have the circumstances been worse than they are at this very moment. Please, use your powers to banish darkness and punish those who would do us harm. Hmm. Hmm? Eh? What is this? Has something stolen its way into my robe? Ho ho ho. Ho oh, he he he. <laughs> and that's a very awkward scene right there. Very awkward camera angle. Uh, phew. What on earth? What on earth? You again. Alright guys, meet E soon. This will be your partner throughout your wonderful adventure. Ow, 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 ow. Are you nuts? Boy, for a little thing, you sure make a big fuss. I was just trying to make the conversation a bit more interesting, that's all. Were you napping in my clothes again, bug? Bug? I told you a thousand times not to call me that. I'm a wandering artist. The name's Isun. Wandering artist Isun. I'll show you just how great I am. And it won't be long till you're bowing before my great brush. <laughs> Probably won't even be able to hold a brush. Look how small you are, bud. Somehow picked up that gigantic scroll. And it's an art piece of Sakuya. Well, what do you think? Even cut it in the real thing, no? So he made an art of Sakuya in Sakuya's roll? That's, uh... That, that one's, uh... Creates... That one's, uh, creates some controversy, I guess, you know, like that. First there's a weird camera angle, and whatever. What's with you, furball? You look kinda down in the dumps. Actually, you look kinda familiar. Got it. You look just like that statue of Shirinui. You! What do you think you're doing? <laughs> you just try to eat him. You crazy? A handsome guy like me should never be covered in wolf slobber. You'll regret messing with the great Isu. Don't make me use my prize sword. Den Komaru against you. Again, I'm really bad with these Japanese names. And as you can see, the condition gets worse in Nippon. What, what, what's that growling sound? Why is it so dark anyway? Oh, great god Amaterasu. I've used all the power I have to protect Kamiki Village. The village lives on and their spirits lie encased in my fruit. Cut it free and the village will be reborn. I trust in you. I know that you'll lead us down the right path. Only your awesome power can restore life to the world. The trees return to normal, huh? That Sakuya girl sure said some weird stuff. The villagers' spirits are being kept inside these fruit. That's the fruit, the girl said. If you cut it down, the village will be restored. But it's awful high up there. If you don't use some kind of special power, wink, wink, hint, hint, nudge, nudge, there's no way you're going to reach it. This darkness is really getting to me, too. A lot can happen when you're taking a nap. Oh, he's soon. Alright, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is episode... One, the prologue, or the pre... Oh, I guess can't leave, but this was just a little intro for Rakami. Next time, we're actually going to start the gameplay, finally, because unfortunately, it, this whole thing has just been, like, cutscenes and cutscenes in the last two videos, but, um, I felt like it's important to explain the story. So, um, you know, I'll see you guys in episode...